A consumer alert now when it comes to drinking and driving. Can a pill a day really cover up the smell of alcohol? ABC 15's Tim Vetcher puts anti-police to the test. Every now and then, Pete Carlson likes to stop off at the neighborhood bar for a cold one. One beer smells like 20 when you, you on, in the summertime around here. So when we told him about a new product that claims to eliminate alcohol breath, well, let's take a look. Pete agreed to give it a try. It's, it's got a basically like a liquid. Uh, it, it's pretty good. It's called anti-police, and unlike a mint that may mask beer breath, this pill claims to get rid of it. In fact, the company states no one will know you've been drinking. How many are you supposed to take? We put anti-police to the test at the Old Brass Rail Bar and Grill. I had a Bloody Mary, three small pitchers, and a shot of tequila. And whether they had one drink or several, after popping the pill, bartender Ann Mosley couldn't detect alcohol on her customer's breath. The smell of uh, beer? No. Just the mint. The mint was very overpowering. But for those who've had too much to drink, real police worry anti-police will fool drinkers into thinking they can get behind the wheel. So you can put 30 of these in your mouth and it can cover all the, the alcohol on your breath, but it doesn't get rid of red eyes, slurred speech. We showed anti-police to Doug Madison with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. It smells like licorice. He calls the pills and their marketing campaign a waste of breath. We can avoid all of this. They could put whatever they want in their mouth, and most agencies now are going to blood tests. How are you going to beat that? A spokesperson for anti-police released this statement to ABC 15 that reads in part, quote, Although the name infers being able to avoid alcohol detection, in no way does it influence the results of a breathalyzer or field sobriety test. We strongly urge our customers never drink and drive. It's not going to sober you up, and, uh, you know, and, uh, and it certainly is going to improve your driving. For Pete, anti-police is yet another example. There just is no magic pill. In Phoenix, Tim Vetcher, ABC 15 News. By the way, the gentleman in our test who admitted to having several drinks walked home and did not get behind the wheel of a car. Anti-police is expected to hit store shelves in the coming weeks. However, you can buy it online right now. To read the full company statement from anti-police, go to ABC 15.